you know, I was here a couple weeks ago, and the same ducks are still here. They're actually right here. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're right there. Hi, guys! <laughs> it just amazes me that they're still actually here. Like, I can't believe it. And there's another big bird over there, so... Um, I'm definitely going to track them on my drone today and stalk them, so yeah. Alright guys, uh, welcome back. I think I can confidently say with maybe 80% certainty that I'm back to my regular upload upload schedule, which is great uh, in my opinion. Um, I know my uploads have been really wacky lately, and that's because mainly of school. I've been really trying to get on top of my assignments and things like that. Um, so yeah, that's the main reason why uploads have been a bit wacky lately. Uh, but yeah, so it's a bit interesting, if I can fix my thing. That's a bit interesting how uploads have been working, but I think I can confidently say that I'm back to my regular upload schedule, which is great, so yeah. Also, in a new location today, um, I'm at the smaller like lake pond fountain area just because uh, I wanted to see how my drone performed over here, and I'm trying to fly to new spots for you guys and things like that, so really excited, really uh, stoked to fly it over here today. Uh, so yeah, so super excited about that. Um, and yeah, so um, I had an okay day today, uh, not too bad. Um, I gave my speech and teen leadership today uh, about my YouTube channel, and that's something I think I'll cover on today's vlog as well. Uh, just go over the speech and what was said and things like that. So, uh, so yeah. Also, I'm not really ready for spring break. It's only Tuesday, but I'm, I'm dreading, I'm dreading come Friday. I'm going to be dreading leaving school. Um, I know that may sound weird, but like, I, uh, I don't love school, but I don't, I don't exactly despise of school either. Uh, there's definitely aspects of school like friends and learning new things and things like that. That is great. So uh, I think come Friday, I'm going to dread Friday. I'm going to just be like, ugh. So, but yeah, so it's coming faster than uh, I realized, which is uh, not fun. It's a bit scary, uh, but we'll only have a week off for spring break. It'll go faster than I know it, and then we'll be back. So uh, that, that should be good. So yeah. <gasps> Are those turtles? Oh my gosh. Look at them go. They just went into the water. I don't know if they got like scared or something. I don't know if you guys can see them. But there's turtles right there. That's so cool. I've never seen turtles over here. That's awesome. Let me see if I can get this one on camera. Get a better shot for you guys. Like right there, there he goes. <laughs> I've never seen turtles over here. That is so cool. I love that. They must be just in the water. That is so cool. I've never seen turtles over here before. That's definitely the that's definitely a highlight of my day today. <laughs> Okay, so as promised, I am going to fly the drone over here. Not sure what to expect, to be quite honest, because there are a lot of trees around, as you guys can see. But as promised, I am going to fly the drone. So I'll show you guys a bit of the footage I get. Okay, so I was thinking what I'm going to do is hand launch it. And basically what hand launching means is where you hold the drone and you let it lift off. Uh, there are a bunch of trees around, to be honest. Here. This. Hang on for just a second, guys. Not that, guys. All right. So I'm gonna show you guys how to hand launch it. Hand launching drones is uh, interesting. Um, usually you usually want to learn how to do it if there's places that, like here where there isn't any like stable platforms to launch it from. Um, if you are a beginner, we recommend obviously launching it from the ground, but if you can't find a stable place, hand launching is definitely your next best option. Uh, so yeah, so I'll show you guys how to hand launch it. So what you do, is grab the drone. here's a drone right here um dji mavic here too you make sure the propellers are fully like facing out you don't want the propellers like bent in because if you have the if you have the propellers bent in basically what the drone will do is it'll like sort of fly sideways like that and you do not want that uh so basically hold it out from you and this is like the more tricky part here you gotta hold the drone out from you like this, and also hold hit the takeoff button at the same time. So, let's see here. Okay, takeoff menu is launched. Oop, if my camera will stay still with me. Okay, so takeoff menu is launched. So what I'll do is I will hit takeoff. Propellers will spin, and once you start to feel resistance, let go. 
And just like that, it's up. And yeah, and that's how the hand launcher drone, if you guys didn't know. So yeah. Okay guys, in a different location now. Um, I'm here in the bayou area. There's a bayou area near my house, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. I'll show you guys a little bit. It's the current area where I'm at. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I did some shots in the bayou. Houston is sometimes called the bayou city. Uh, so yeah, so we have a lot of bayou. I think this is a bayou. I'm not sure if this is a bayou or not. I think it is though. So I got some shots in the bayou slash river area, uh, depending on what you guys want to call it. Um, and yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed those shots. Uh, really, really cool. Um, I was, okay, so quick story. I was uh, confronted by an older gentleman earlier when I was filming in the other park that I was in uh, before I changed locations. And he approached me and he was like, um, he's like, what are you filming? And I'm like, well, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, just filming a time lapse for my vlog. You know, I have my own YouTube channel, da 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 da. Because sometimes people will come up and ask me questions and things like that. And usually people are very nice. But this gentleman, not very nice. Uh, he came up to me and uh, he proceeded to berate me and yell at me and um, argue with me about HOA laws and Houston laws and city ordinances and city code and you know I'm not supposed to be there even though it's a completely public place um, completely public I'm pretty sure it's public um, don't quote me on that but I'm pretty sure like 50% confident that the place is public so I've been there 20 times talked to many people down there um, and uh, I'm like oh yeah I live in Bear Branch and haven't had a single problem uh, and I've been doing the same thing you know almost every day uh, or every other week I go down there so this is like the first time I've had a confrontation with somebody and he you know like I said he proceeded to yell at me about city code city ordinance and well you know yell at me that I'm not supposed to be there he was like you know you're pointing the camera at my family which I was not I was pointing the camera at the lake area not at his family um, I was pointing it to at an area that didn't have any people in it at all uh, which was complete uh, you know for what he did was uh, completely ridiculous because uh, I wasn't bothering anybody I wasn't doing anything illegal or wrong uh, it's not like I was brandishing a freaking you know weapon in front of his children I wasn't doing that at all uh, I wasn't bothering anybody like I said so uh, so yeah I, this is the first time I've had a confrontation with somebody uh, in that area um, I've been there many 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 times and haven't had a single confrontation so that gentleman was quite uh, quite interesting uh to say the least uh if this gentleman if that gentleman is watching this vlog you're awesome appreciate you a lot uh really do and uh and yeah so i think we just need more nicer and kinder and understanding people in the world because uh the world is a very negative mean place sometimes so uh so yeah i just wanted to discuss that story real quick with you guys Okay, so now on to a more positive part of the vlog today. Uh, okay, so as I was saying earlier, I did my speech today in teen leadership. Really enjoyed it. It was really fun. Talked about starting my YouTube channel, da 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 uh, And now it's basically just like, you know, um, and this is what I'm going to talk about on today's vlog, uh, that, uh, you know, I woke up one day and I was just like, let's start a YouTube channel. Let's do it. Seems like a crazy, wacky idea, but I think I would be pretty good at it. Um, I've loved talking to the camera ever since I was a little kid. and. Um, I think I would be pretty good at it. So, like I, like I, I told the uh, audience, I was like, you know, I saved up a bit of money, got a, got a camera. Then after that, I got a drone, which I currently have. That's pretty new. Um, and, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 subscribers later, uh, here I am. You know, it's crazy. Um, and um, it's, it's awesome. I love doing it. I love being a positive influence on people's lives. Because uh, to have that impact is just awesome. Um, I think it's great. And, uh, and yeah, um, but I was like, you know, if you guys ever have a crazy, wacky idea, do it. You know, take risks in life. Uh, you know, life is short 
and that's you know it's always my philosophy and life is short it's how you live it you know make the most of life jeez louise okay so the current place where i have my camera set up is like this little like generator box thingamajiggy if you guys can see it now it's this little door right here and uh that's where I currently have my camera set up. My camera wants to stay still. That's where I currently have my camera set up right now. Um, so if you guys are wondering where I have it set up and why I was like, what the heck I was saying. Um, but yeah, you know, like take risks in life, you know, life is short. Um, it's how you live it that impacts you, your mental state and how you, uh, how happy you are, you know? Um, so take risks in life. You know, if you have a crazy wacky idea, do it, you know? Um, definitely, definitely do it. Cause you never know, you could, um, turn that crazy wacky idea and help other people out help other people out in the world you know um, so yeah take risks in life you know life is sh life is short it's what you make of it that matters the most you only got one life so live life uh, live life uh, live life live life the way you want to live it you know live life the way you want to live it definitely there was this quote today that I saw in the office and it went something along the lines of um, I think it was uh, like love as much as you live and uh or so it was like love as long as you live and uh like love as long as you live and that's a really good quote you know love life as long as you live um try to out try to squeeze out every last moment of happiness and positivity in life as you can because like i said earlier there's so much negativity so much hate in the world and i see it every day on the news and all these problems that I wish we could solve them, but we really can't, um, you know, because there are just so many problems in the world, it's too much. Uh, there's so much negativity negativity in the world, and we just need people to be kind and uh, be nice and be understanding of people's issues and people's problems, you know? Um, everybody's going through something, and that's why I say at the end of all my vlogs is, uh, is uh, you know, I hope, you know, whatever you're, whenever you're watching this, whenever, uh, whenever you are uh, seeing this, I hope you're doing well and I hope you are uh, staying positive and staying strong if you're going through a rough situation. Um, because if, you know, I want to let people know that, you know, if nobody told you that today or nobody told you that they loved you, you know, I do. I think you're awesome. I think you're amazing. So yeah, but that's my spiel for today. Uh, that might do it for me, actually. Um, I got to get home. Uh, do the things that I need to do. Got to fold my laundry. I love folding laundry. I got to fold the laundry when I get home and stuff like that. Uh, let me see about my camera here. Uh, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. Really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, like I always say, or like, and like I said earlier, uh, wherever you guys are, whatever time you guys are watching this, I hope you're doing well. And if you are ever going through a rough, rocky situation, remember to stay strong and hang in there. And also, before I leave, this is one important reminder to the UIL kids, my daily reminder to them. You guys are awesome. I love all of you guys tremendously. Uh, you guys are doing great. Um, again, congratulations. Uh, I know you guys advanced a couple days ago, so congratulations, big congratulations to you guys. Props to you, and uh, I love all you guys. Uh, so yeah, so, uh, so yeah, so I think I'll see you guys tomorrow, and uh, yeah, so see you guys.